just thought I'd make a quick bit of film for DVD Styler because what I have noticed is that when I've looked for inspiration and help myself with this program, I found it very complicated and the people were very, very fast in what they did on screen, tapping around with their fingers so quickly and not really explaining it properly. So I'm hoping that this edition might help you to use Styler as I've been confused as well. So let's take it right from the beginning of opening up the program and how you can make a simple film and how you can make a slightly more complicated one uh, as easily as possible for you. Okay, well let's see if I can help you to use DVD Styler more easily than I've found ways of using it. So by exploring and a lot of frustration over a night and a couple of days, I've managed to get this far to be able to do a fairly straightforward film and a fairly complicated one. Now let's run through that with you. Let's start with a fairly straightforward film first of all. So first of all we need to open up DVD Styler, which I have here. So I'll click on that and the program opens up. And it comes up with this opening page. So we want to create a new project, yes there, it's going to be a DVD, I want it in PAL, not an NTSC, but remember we can change the film to NTSC later. When I do my uh, DVDs, I need them to be uh, played in both England and abroad, in both Europe and uh, in America and so on, so I have to produce two discs, one in PAL and one in NTSC. So I'll set it now for PAL, for this purpose. Uh, we don't need to browse for existing files at the moment, we'll just go OK on that and then it will bring up the menu. Now in my case I like to use a background menu to start off with, it's a lot easier. So I'm going to choose a very basic one here, it says all at the moment there. I'm going to choose a very basic menu here. Plenty of time to do this, I'll run you through it so that you can understand everything I hope. Double click on that and there's our basic menu. Now if I double click on the disk title, then up here you can see we can change it. So I'll press the back arrow button, I'll delete that and I'll put in the title of the film. This is an actual film that I'm producing for myself at the moment. So we've got that, then we can choose the font. I'm going to choose it over there. Look, of course, this one that says font. And in my case, I've got all of these fonts here that I can choose from. I'm just going to choose bold at the same size I've already got it set up, but you can set the size here. We can adjust the size again on here afterwards, I'll show you. So we've got bold, and we'll go OK. Now we want the colour, field colour here. And I'm going to want red in this case. And I go OK. I go OK to that again. And there we are. It's as easy as that. And if I want it larger, I can make it larger. If I want to go back to that and double click on it again, I can change the font size by going to a larger size here. At the moment it's 27, but I could go up to 28, say, or whatever, just by sliding this down and clicking on any of these. So that's changing your font size whenever you want. Go back to OK and OK, and we have that. Now we've got Play All and Select Title. I'm going to bring one across to here and one to here, and they're not very clear there because I'm going to put a background on here as well, I'll show you how to do a background now. So I'll change those as well. Just double click on that, and again, I want the font, I'm going to go to bold again, OK. This time I want yellow, so click here for text colour, and yellow, and OK, and OK, and it's as easy as that, once you know where to go and how to do it. And that's the problem, unless somebody shows you there's so many complicated things here to use in this lovely program. And if you really wanted to get advanced, you found your way through it, I'm sure they'd be useful. But to most of us, it's just confusing. So again, back to here, text colour, choose yellow. OK, OK, and there I have it. Oh, I didn't choose the, uh, the font, so go back to there, choose the font, and I want bold again. OK, and OK. So you see, you can go backwards and forwards quite easily. Now this will be the same for doing a more complicated film as it is for this simple one at the beginning here. Now let's go to the background. If I right click and go to properties, I come up with this. And up here we've got backgrounds and we've got audio. Backgrounds and audio here and here. So if I click on that, I can then go to my backgrounds. It brings up their backgrounds. I don't want those. I'm going to go down to my main drive and I'll find um, the folder that I want and go here so I want me promo complete there we go into there and I come up with all these shots of myself over the years that I can use for promotion 
In this case I want something fairly long to fit within this panel behind. If I choose a shorter photograph like this it won't look very good. I'll show you what I mean. I'll double click on that one and go OK and it stretches me out rather. Let's have one that's a bit longer. I don't mind that one but let's have one that's a bit longer. So we go back to there again, properties. We can change it you see. You don't have to keep the same one. Click on here again, back into the same folder immediately then and let's find something that's a bit longer that might suit that better. There we are, this one's me painting. That's quite nice. And now I can move that lettering to fit and I can change the colours if I want to to suit. That suits me just fine. Now I want some music, so we go to properties again and I can go to my audio tab and go back to here to find my music or photos or music in my case or, uh, or music and I want copyright free so I'm going to free music here show your moves, how about that? That'll do it. So now I've got the music and the background done. Just go OK. You can loop it if you want. That's up to you. I can just play it for a short period of time. Let's go back there and loop that again if I want to then. So audio and loop it there so that it continues. Right, that's my basic setup done. And you look down here and you can see we've got a menu 1 and we've got a menu 2. But I haven't got a film yet. I've set up the, uh, the cover, the main cover of the, ma of the first menu page, but we need a film. So there are several ways you can do that. But I'm going to go up to here at the top left where it says plus on, on the little film um, motif. Double click on that. And then we want to find the film we want. So now we want to go back to... Um, These th the three of these, because it's three of four. The fourth one is yet to be done because that's the, l the last part of my life. Here we are. Part three of four of my life. One, two, three. Double click on that, and the film now shows down here. Now, that as a basic setup is all we actually need. That's ready to go. But going back to this one, if I double click on it, you'll notice that it's got all of these extra um, menu parts that we don't need. So I'm going to delete those off. Click on them once, press the delete key and delete them off. Because that will be the next part for making it more advanced. I'll show you to do that in just a moment. So this is your basic film ready and set up. But we want a background to this one too. So I'm going to go back and just that one. So we go to D and my um, need one I complete. I'm going to find another one of me. It doesn't really matter now which one I use. Um, but a longer one suits better. Let's try that one. And we need some music as well, so we'll have some audio again. We go back to D, or photos or music, or music, and then three again. And I can choose one from here. OK, and there we are. But I don't want that there, because it's over my face. Which might be an, an improvement, but there we go, move it up to there. Or I can move it right across to here if I think the composition is better. And you see also that if you, if you get it in the right place, uh, you can extend it too. So I can make that shape longer, wider, larger, I like that. And that's a preliminary, a preview um, panel that's going to play a little bit of film normally when we start the film off. Here we've got forward and, and back arrows. We don't really need that back arrow, that one, because we, we aren't going any further forward, so we could delete that one just by clicking on it and pressing delete. We only need the back arrow here, and that should be ready. So there we are. I could now um, produce uh, my DVD files from there. And I can put a DVD directly into my DVD player, and when I go up to here, you'll notice it gives you options. So that's a little red circle up here. That film is ready to go. It's as simple as that. And, oh, what I will do though is cancel that for the minute. That one can't really be seen very well. So let's just take that up to here and we'll just make that a bit brighter, font large. And we'll also change the colour of it again. Remember we did that before. OK, there we go. OK, so that's taking you back on that one again. So there we are, that, that's ready to go. So up to here now, ready to burn. Now you've got all these options here. We can put a DVD blank straight in, go to here. Oh, it's telling me that's overlapping now, so I need to just to move that. Interesting, we can find our way around the problems as we go along. I'll bring that across to here. Back up to here. Yep. 
Now, down here you've got a load of choices. You can directly click on this one to burn a, a, a DVD. You can click on that one and we can click on preview. If we do that, then you get the chance to preview the film before it burns it in case there's a problem. I actually prefer to just have the preview only and generate an ISO image because if I'm doing that, if I'm generating this image, I can um, transfer, I can save those files directly into a folder and make my disks afterwards from those images over and over again. If I burn it onto a disk and I want to copy the disk, this can get damaged. So I'll usually keep master disks, but I will usually go to create an image first um, and I will place that wherever here. In this case I want to place it in Story of My Life, um, but it's going to be a folder I've already made here, three. So I've got one, two, three, they've already got films in. Here's one that I've made already, as they will say on Blue Peter. And if I double click on that and then save it, that film is now going to go to that folder. Those images that I create to make a DVD with Nero or whatever program you've got will now go to that folder. If I didn't want to do that, I could go straight to Burn and have the disk in and just burn directly, or just to preview it, I could go to Just Generate and Preview, and that would only do that, and it won't take too long that way, much, much shorter than doing the DVD, and you can just check your film first. You can just check how it opens and everything is correct before you do these other things. So if you just want to test your film and see it first, just generate and preview. If you want to do a burn directly to disk and you're sure it's correct, go to that. If you want to create an image, a series of files that you can actually use to make the DVD over and over again afterwards, you do that one. Or if you burnt that, you could then take the copy the um, files, these ISO image files off the DVD and copy them into a folder. But this is safer and the images are usually um, going to be clean clear ones whereas they can be damaged if they're taken off the DVD. And I want to make sure that I can copy over and over again. Now at this stage it might make sense to say to you that in fact if you only have one film file on it you don't need this second menu at all. In fact, having deleted all of this lot, as we did, do we actually need to come to this one to play the film? Well, we could play the film straight from Play All here. If we go back to that, I'll show you what I mean. If we play all there, then we don't need to go to the Select Title because it's going to play all. There's only one title. So we could quite happily delete this menu too altogether, and it would still work because we're going to only play the one title. So I'll delete this one. Yes, we do. And then we go back to this one. We don't need this one here either because we're going to play all. Right, so that means my very simple film now is just one film, one title. It doesn't need a menu at all. And that's probably even easier for you. If you want to have a menu or you want to have the second sheet, you can do so. This probably is the simplest way. Right, let's move on. Right, I'm ready to go then. So I'll simply go start and it's preparing itself now and I'll come back onto this once it's um, completed. Now you can see it's working its way through now here doing what it's supposed to do and it doesn't take too long doing it this way because all we're doing is the files. If there's a problem now it will come up here and it will tell you what the problem is. I'm going to go back on this film in a minute and we're going to actually make a longer version of it where I'm going to actually edit it and put in um, to the menu different sections. In other words, have a full menu with different parts of the film because that's probably the most difficult part. Once you get used to it, it's very simple, but it took me ages to find out just how to do that simply. So we'll let this finish off and then we'll come back. Well, as you can see there, it's come up now with my preview. So that's to check everything is all right, which I can now do. They're all working. So that's yes. working. Now we go to this one here. Because I clicked on both, not just do the image, I've got to go, yes, now create the files. So if you were doing a DVD, just straight off, it would have now have done the DVD for you, finished, you could check it. So you would check it first if you wanted that way, or you could go straight to the DVD. 
or you could go to that and check it and then go to the DVD as you can set up as I showed you just now right there we go generated successful I can now close that down if I want to work on this file or do more with it I can now do so but let's leave it at that I'll just show you how the files come up now I've got the story of my life there they've come up in this for format so I can I have to bring them out now from here into my folder in this case video I don't want the audio there's nothing in the audio select all of those bring them across this is for those of us that want to have the files from the disk straight on to our uh, um, storage so that we can make further disks later without copying from the disks obviously you can burn straight from your own disk and all my files appear there now all I've got to do is bring that one up again and I can get rid of this one now delete yes yes we want to get rid of it I can bring up the other one and close that down now and I'm there I'm ready those are all my video files ready to copy right go back from that then to our actual program and let's look how we can edit into this we'll start it all again this time to make a much more complicated film We'll close this one down. I'm not going to save it. Clear the cache at the end. We don't want to leave files blocking up our computer. And let's open the program up again. So I'm very impressed with this free program. Been no problems other than just having to understand it. So I've set it to PAL. OK to that and we'll use the same format, that one, this title, I'm just going to call it test, double click on it, I'm just going to call it test film this time, just to give you an idea of how we can do all of these more complicated things this time, that was a basic, quick, simple film to make, test film, font, I'm going to use the large one again, OK, I'm going to use the colour red again, OK, that's it, move that to where I want it, over here, move these to where I want them again, for the moment, we'll choose our font again, so very quickly through it, all of it, and the colour again, we'll have yellow again, OK, OK, here again the same, the font, large, going a bit quicker this time because you don't really need me to explain all of this again, but it will help you I'm sure. OK, there we are. Now the background we want, so again to properties, and we'll go, remember, in this case this is where you can set it from format as well down to properties here we can set the actual thing we're going to record it into so if I wanted to record NTSC I could do it here but I still don't I still want PAL so there we are we want PAL we're going to keep it as PAL and want a, um, want a background so we'll go to a background in this case what do I want program files so I'm going to add to my D drive and I want Promo. Doesn't matter which one I use this time really. Let's have a poppies for fun. Have a nice bike poppy scene. This is what we'll do. Um, we'll go OK to that. And there's our poppies. Now you see we can't see anything there, so we need to, because the red is not working, we need to make that red uh, to white so we can see it. And I'll also need to make it a bit bigger, I think, so we'll choose font. At the moment it's at 27, I shall want it at um, 36, let's try that. OK, and there we are. So now you can see it a lot more clearly there. And the same, the yellow show all right anyway. So that's that. Now the music we didn't set, so I'll go back to there, properties, and we can set 
the music down to here audio and to here there and we'll actually make this and play it so you can see it happening although I won't record it onto a disc just for you to see how it works uh, we go me uh, well we know music all photos on music have plucky daisy that would be fun to have right so that's our music done that's our first menu completed and you see we've got all these spare menus down here but we've yet to put a film on so let's take another film back to our films and for the fun of it we'll take in um, painting we'll take evening light in my garden and this one put that in see it coming across it's now in here now this is where it starts to get a bit more complicated this is where we need to start editing so I'm going to double click on that one and it brings up this now this is where we can start to do our uh, our editing for the sections of the film that we want for the chapters you see here it's already got three chapters in it but we don't want those particularly we want to make our own and more so if we now click on here so go for chapters go from there to this one here so you're in properties on on that um, film click on the chapters one here double click on that and it brings up this now you're able to do as many here as you want and I'll show you how I mean it's starting at zero which is what you want so we're going to go to the next one and I'm going to bring this right back here from the introduction I'm going to slide that back to my very beginning here where I'm just going to start the painting after introducing it so there we go a little bit more you can take it down one by one if you want so I can take those up there frame by frame virtually so I'm doing that now I'm going to go back a little bit so go back a bit now that's my introduction so I'm going to say yes I want the next part there so that's okay then we go to the next one here and we bring that up to oh where shall I go halfway through the film here um, let's bring it back to here so I decide that I want one there that's fine we'll do that now I want another one here so I'm going to go on my plus and add another frame there for the chapter I can add as many chapters as I want I can do another one if I want there so that's adding chapters so we know these are where we want them now this one is the one I'm on next and I slide this to where I want it for the next one then we go to this one and I slide it where I want for that one we'll put that just at the end I think at the very end just where we're going to finish off the painting and show how it looks at the end of it all right on there we are that's me having a chat and we come to the end of the painting so I go back a bit on that that's it and we go okay that's our chapters ready and done down here so we go okay to that that's our chapter set up. Now, it's not showing all the chapters on there. And we don't want all of these anyway. What we do want though is to show all of the chapters. And this is where I got confused. This is where I couldn't figure it how, how it worked. Right click here and go add. And then chapter menu. And what you then get is this which is all of our five chapters which is what we wanted right click here and go add and then chapter menu and what you then get is this which is all of our five chapters which is what we wanted don't worry about that one that's not even actually needed now but this is the important one this one and this one and this one are important we could lose that one if we want to so what I'm going to do now I'm going to delete that one don't need it I'm keeping these two we've got our BMGM down here menu we've got these two here and the title one now this is what I want to work on here so I want a background for this okay background and We'll have the actual painting, I think. So we'll go to D, all artwork over life. 
and then we'll go to now, present time, 20, paintings, paintings from 2019, there we go. I want the actual painting, that's the one there, double click. Music, yes, we want some music, so back to D. So every one of these here can have its own music and background. That's the menus, that is. So all these menus can have their music and background. So draw music. Mine's all over the place. Finding the balance, it's up that. Okay, so there we are. Now I can move these again where I want them. I can move them up or down if I want to, or smaller or larger, or just have them to one side even, so we can see the painting more. Let's bring them over there. I need to make them smaller, but we don't want them too small because I'm going to put lettering in between them in it. So I'm going to space them a little bit more. Put that one down to here. And there we go. That one could come down too. We don't need that one because we're not going any further right. So we can lose that one. Delete. This one we'll keep because we can go back from there to there. If we right click on that it will tell you where it's going and this is an important thing to know. There's a back there that we can't see as well. Look, let's bring that up as well. We'll um, just make that bigger so we can see it. Font, bold and colour. We'll make it uh, white so we can see it. OK. OK. Now it's white and it's larger here. That's the back. Where they go to is on here. Right click on that and bring up properties and you can see that it says it's going to title set menu 1. Title set menu 1 is this one here. So if you wish to change at any time links from one to the other you go to the object itself and they will tell you where they are here. So you've got all of these choices take it to that already exist. So at the moment it's going title set 1. If I wanted it to go to the menu it will go there. But I don't I want to keep it there, title set 1 menu. So we can do that with any of these. We can check that one properties and that one is going title set 1. That's okay we want that. So if you get a warning error message later saying this isn't correct, it's not going to the right place, click on the object that's the problem that they've told you right click on it and you can see where the problem is and where it's going to and adjust it here saying this one back where's it going right click on that properties and it's going to the menu here so it's taking us back to the VGM menu the very first one to choose what, whether we want to go into this or whether we want to go straight into the film do you understand that now so if I click um, if it's going to the VGM menu at the moment that button is taking me back to this menu here and if I change it from there to any of the other ones it will take me to those ones so you want to make sure that they're in the right places okay that's that's fairly fairly straightforward then so we've got that one done we've got that music okay. done and I almost forgot now to show you how to make extra lettering under these film titles if you right click on there we can go add and text we can type in some more text now so start for instance here we go to our font again as usual black italic in this case and I'm going to want to have what colour for this one oh um, a field colour of yellow again why not okay 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 and we can put that there I can do the same for the end I can put under any of these I want it again over here I can go add and I can put end and font like italic again and this time we'll have a different colour we'll have very light blue okay okay and that can go there so there we are that shows you that section in our menu is made our title one there with the film in put our menu there again play all if I go play all here and right click on it properties it's title set so it's it's this one it goes straight to there and starts playing them immediately and you've got the other um, commands below saying play all titles so I've said play all titles so it will now play all titles right through so on that one I've already set it up when I when I go to play 
it's going to play all titles. So that's fairly straightforward, isn't it? There's a tick on it. You can untick it if you want or tick it again. Single title set because you've only got one title set there. That explains that one for you. It took me ages to sort this out because it's not clearly explained. I haven't seen it clearly explained on any other films. And on select file here, if we right click on that, then it's going to play all titles and it's going to jump menu. And this is another one. We can jump the menu. So here, if we go um, select title, it's going to jump to menu two. But there isn't, in fact, so it doesn't matter. That's an invalid action, menu two only, only one exists. So we, we don't want that at all. So we need to change that because that could come up with a problem. Um, so that probably would have come up with a problem when I wanted to actually do it. Um, we take that one off. We don't want to jump to menu 2 because we don't have a menu 2 there. Uh, so it jumps to back to the start of the current menu in this case. don't want a custom on that one. We aren't going to menu 2, but that would be how to set it to jump to menu 2 afterwards. So jump 2 from one thing to another at the end of a command. Right, back we go then. As far as I can see I've got that right for you. And that should explain it. Now we close that down and we should be able now to, to test our film. So if you remember we went to here oh no, overlapping buttons again Just make that one there, that's it, that's done that, that must be that one title one, wasn't menu one, it was title one, menu one, here, let's see if that does it now then so we'll go back to here again and that's okay now, so that's what it was, so it shows you the problem then you've got to go back and just find it now on this one all I want to do is preview. I don't want to do anything else. Just generate and preview so that you can see the film working. So that's what I'm going to do next. So you can see how all of this now works. So a fairly complicated film. You can have as many um, of these sections as you want. As many in the menu as you want. Um, but you will just have to get the links right afterwards as you've just seen. But that gives you all of the basics now so you can find your way around. Which I had a hell of a job doing. Here we go then, start, right start, yes we want to overwrite the previous one, we didn't clear it, and it's going. So we'll wait for that to have done its job now. Well there we are then, the test film is now up, we can now test it out and see how it works. We can go play all, and in doing so we noticed a problem, I didn't see select title come up on that. So if we go to select title here now, which is just as well we didn't burn the DVD and you can see why now, if I right click on that and go to properties, then that should jump to the menu 1, but it isn't. So we want to jump to menu 1, chapter menu, OK, and then we'll do this again and see if that works and this, and the, and this select title now comes up. So now I'll redo the preview. you can see select title is now there and if we go to it we can start the whole film straight off so there you go that shows you exactly how it works and uh, if we go to select title again Start today. Off. We can go forward onto the different ones. All set up now for use of the television channel menu. Well, that's that, that so I hope that's enabling you to much more simply find your way around this lovely program. DVD styler, free on the internet, and it's the best I can find, I must admit.